Edson Martinez, one of the top tacklers in the region. He's a fantastic defensive midfielder who probably projects more as a center back in the pros. And his accomplishments get over the bar for me. All conference uh, in high school and all academic selection in the Big East, which is not easy. And Georgetown was first in goals allowed. Let's get right into the highlights. This was the play right here that stood out to me for Edson. I love the way he tracks this ball as it's moving across the field. He's already in the next passing lane, so he knows that number 17 here is going to want to dribble forward. No nonsense with that tackle. And keeps his head up and wants to look forward. Has the patience to understand it's not there. There it is, puts in a good ball, which leads to the assist. It's a complete play, gets the turnover, gets it going forward, and we get the goal. Here he is giving good pressure, looking over his shoulder here to see if he's in a passing lane, takes away the pass on his left side, reacts to the pass that comes to his right shoulder, and is able to find the interception. And I've just never seen this before, just a little breakdance move to get away from the defender. Not only does he make great tackles, he gets a lot of interceptions as well by being in the right positions. He's intelligent, he reads the play, and sees what's coming next. He once told me, I usually know what they will want to do with the ball because I'll just think to put myself in their position and what I would want to do with the ball. And that kind of helps him better anticipate his opponent's next move. Here he is covering for the outside back. I like the angle that he takes on this recovery run. It's straight back to the middle of the field. He waits for that heavy touch. Willing to make the big tackle, willing to take risks. Here we had to have it, and here comes Edson out of nowhere. He's just that guy that you hate to play against. Doesn't get phased easily, keeps his focus. willing to make tackles that others aren't. He's constantly reading the play. He doesn't like players having the ball too long. He likes to track them down. And he'll come at you from all angles. And just an impressive record of tackles against some top opponents. That's Victor Mance right there showing some frustration, and I would be too. Here he is watching number 25 with his head down and sees that pass coming and jumps the passing lane. Started calling him the street sweeper because he just cleans up a lot of the BS that's out there. He's going to get you possession back. Great control too, improvisation to bring that down and just plays quickly you can see he comes with a high motor just a possession centric player and uh, brave as well there's no one that's tackling harder than Edson on the field I promise you that he's clever in possession clever with his passes creativity is a plus not going to have a ton of goals or even a ton of assists, but uh, what he's going to do is retain possession for you, get you out of trouble. You really just fall in love with Edson watching him play. He's just a player that doesn't get a lot of credit, but his impact on the game is, is positive. Net possessions, he's always going to be near the top in that category. And every once in a while, he, he'll get by a guy. It's, it's not really his strength, but... Uh, he knows how to put a good ball into the box. This is one of my favorite plays. It's just the intelligence to just kind of look that guy off. And when it comes back to him, he knows exactly where he is. He knows exactly what he wants to do with it.
And on this field here, he just dominated. Again, here he creates the turnover, has the poise to put a little quick combination together and get things going the other direction. Just completely changes the dynamic of a game. Always looking over his shoulder, always head on a swivel to make that turn. Uh, just kind of a natural leader you want in the defensive midfield position. Really cares about possession of the ball and uh, the quality of his passing. Again, not going to be your like attacking midfielder piece. Definitely going to be more of a defensive center back. And every once in a while, he'll he'll get in there and get one. All around top, top caliber defensive midfielder, super underrated, and a guy I'd love to build my defense around. Thanks for watching, everybody.